Brothers and sisters, welcome to our celebration today. We continue our Easter celebrations this day as Jesus reminds us in our gospel to listen for his voice and not only to listen but to follow it when we hear it. Let us begin our celebration this day with the sign of our salvation in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us begin our celebration today in the silence of our hearts to acknowledge our sins and our human weaknesses and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us praise God together as we pray. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and, and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. Will. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated, seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you are Lord of the Holy One. You are Lord of the Lord. You are Lord of the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My friends, let us now listen to the word of God as it is proclaimed to us. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath day they went into the synagogue and sat down. When the meeting of the synagogue broke up, many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. The next Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. But when the Jewish officials saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and blaspheming. They contradicted what was spoken by Paul. Then both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly, saying, It was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you. Since you reject it and judge yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life, we are now turning to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have set you to be a light for the Gentiles, so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. When the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and praised the word of the Lord, and as many ha as has been destined for eternal life became believers. 
Thus the word of the Lord spread throughout the region, but the officials incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against Paul and Barnabas and drove them out of, the, of their region. So they shook the dust off their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Of Revelation. After this, I, John, looked, and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. And one of the elders then said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd and he will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of my Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Now, I know I've shared this story a few years back with you, but even though you may have heard it already, please don't stop me. Many years ago, as I was preparing for to become a Franciscan friar, 
I spent an entire month on retreat in the desert in New Mexico with 17 other young men who were also preparing for their entry into the Franciscan order, just like myself. The first few days of the retreat was the getting to know each other part of the retreat. Each and every day we had different activities and various discussions all so that we could get to know each other better since we were going to be brothers. Being the shy and reserved person that I am, by the end of the third day I was pretty convinced I knew everyone in the group. Everyone except one very quiet brother from Mexico. And when the time it came for our final session, the retreat leader asked him to look around the group and pick out the one person he didn't feel he knew well. And as fate would have it, he chose me. The problem was, I didn't even know his name. But we began our activity anyway without even knowing each other's name. Believe it or not, our first activity was finger painting. One person had to paint and the other person had to guide them. And the catch was that the person who was painting was blindfolded. And he had to explain to the other person what he wanted to paint. And of course, they set me first. Under my blindfold, I envisioned a, a beautiful sunrise over the mountains with streams and trees and running through along the horizon. And as we began, it felt very strange not to be able to see the actual colors or what it was actually painting. I kept trying to move my finger by myself, but the other friar kept putting it back to where he thought it would be. After about 15 minutes of struggling, I took off my blindfolded and looked at the painting I created. What a mess. The other friar who was guiding my finger said, don't worry, it looks great. And then he proceeded to put the blindfold over his eyes, and he began to paint. The end result of his painting was slightly better than mine, of course, but in the end, I guess it really didn't matter. The goal was to get to know each other a little bit better, and that's what we did. But I still didn't know his name. And then it hit me. I'd be a little smart. I said I knew his name without asking either one of us, embarrassing us about the name. So he spoke Spanish, and I thought to myself, I would ask what his name would be translated into English. Not very clever, of course, but some of the other friars from Mexico were named Rogelio, which is Roger in English, or Juan, which is John in English. So I asked him, what would your name be translated into English? And after giving me a rather strange look, he finally said, Jesus. My name is Jesus, but in English you would call me Jesus. We had a pretty good laugh about that, and I'll never forget him. His name was Jesus. My friends, the reason why I tell you that rather long story this, this day is because I think from all time to time we look for the presence of Christ in our midst, and oftentimes we look for him, we sometimes miss him. We miss him, though we always oftentimes look for him, we miss his voice. We miss his call because there are so many other voices and calls getting us, getting us for our attention. We sometimes miss the call of Christ to come and follow me. Listen to our gospel today. Jesus tells his disciples to listen to his voice, listen to his call, and follow his lead. Time and time again after the resurrection, the disciples didn't recognize Jesus right away, and it wasn't until after the fact did they truly hear him and understand what he was trying to teach them. Don't we sometimes do that too? Don't we oftentimes look for God's presence? We look for and pray for the guidance of Jesus, and although we look for his presence and pray for his guidance, we are so caught up in speaking and asking for help, we sometimes miss his voice and his help that he is actually giving to us at that very moment. I know what happens to me sometimes, and I know what happened to me during that finger painting story that I just told you about. I wanted to push one way, but Jesus was trying to go another way. I knew what I wanted, he knew what I wanted because I told him so. But it wasn't until I took my blindfold off and asked him his name that I realized that Jesus was really Jesus guiding me along the way. I had the vision of what I wanted, but he guided me along the way. All I had to do was listen to his voice and follow his lead. 
My brothers and sisters, as we continue our Easter celebrations today, our gospel passage today challenges us to be attentive to the voice of Christ and to trust in the real presence of Jesus in our lives, a real presence that is active in our lives, a real presence that is guiding in our lives, a real presence that is truly and really with us. No matter where we find ourselves, no matter what we're doing, Christ invites us today to hear him, to listen to him, and to follow his voice wherever his voice may be leading us. May these words have meaning in your life and mine, and may God give you his peace. Amen. So together as one family of believers, we profess our faith in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as we pray. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Filled with the Holy Spirit, let us unite with one another to present our prayers to the Lord this day. For all Christians called to witness through word and action to the presence of the risen Christ to follow the Good Shepherd, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For growing respect among people of all races, cultures, and religions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may not resist the risen Christ, but welcome him into our lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the infirm separated from their parish communities, and all those who join us today, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy, we pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us take a few moments and offer our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, we pray that Jesus will become the center of our lives. We make this prayer in his name, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 My friends, having listened to God's word, let us celebrate his joy in let us celebrate his supper in joy and thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, name for our good and good, good of all his holy church. church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewed const constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to loud you more glorious, yet more glorious, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. 
Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of God hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving you thanks, Father, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, Father, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by his Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity and love, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer peace in our minds and in our hearts to those who may need God's peace in their lives. In the silence of our hearts, let, them, uh, let us offer them our forgiveness and our peace in his name. Lamb of God, 
You take, you take away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless and protect you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go forth. The Mass is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. is wrong to have been from the beginning. This we have heard and seen with our own eyes. Something we have touched and have carefully watched. The word who is life, this we share with you. take the opportunity on behalf of our community here to thank you all for joining us this morning. My name is Father Michael Corsione. I am a Franciscan priest and I am the pastor at St. Peter's Parish in Woodbridge, Ontario. I thank you for joining us this week. Thank you for praying with us and be assured of our prayers. Those of you that join us, we ask God's blessings upon each and every one of us as we begin this beautiful day and ask God's blessings upon your family and friends. God bless. I'm in God's own spirit.